So I wasn't exactly sure where to put this information. I don't know if it deserved a video on its own, but I think it's really important. Not all sleep studies are the same. That could be due to night to night variants, of course, but respiratory events are not ranked equally in all labs. You have many different types of tests, overnight sleep studies and watch pads being some of the most popular, but there are other ones. And I don't know exactly which one you should get, um, but you might go to, through some tests that will reveal you have sleep apnea or UARS. You might go through other ones which won't. I just want to bring this to your attention. I think it's important to at least be aware of. One of the things that I found was really interesting is at least this is something I can tell you with certainty. The WatchPat studies, different labs, and often it depends on the insurance company, will qualify what counts as a oxygen blood desaturation differently. So if you go and say that anytime your blood oxygen drops by 3%, then you're going to be finding a lot more respiratory events than if you were to say, I'm only going to count if the oxygen drops by 4%. And take a look at this. These are two sleep studies. So you will look on the left here and on the bottom here during respiratory indices, you'll see some relatively mild numbers. The RDI is 10, the AHI is about 10, the ODI is about nine. And then over here on the right, you're gonna see about double. 22 RDI, 22 AHI, uh, and again, nine as a ODI. And so you'll say that the patient on the right has significantly worse sleep disorder breathing. If you look over here in the sleep summary, you'll see this is the same patient in the same night, seven hours and 36 minutes asleep, same start time, same end time. The only difference here is that on the left, the WatchPad study used the 4% oxygen desaturation threshold and on the right, 3%. And if you have a WatchPad study, I recommend at least looking at that value. You scroll down to the printed result and it will be right there. So if it's 4%, your number is not very accurate. If it's 3%, it might not, it still might not be enough, may, may or may not be enough. I think that this is something that's really being looked into is how good are these studies and how do they compare?